Hey guys, happy Monday to everyone. I wanted to pop in and make a video because I wanted to do a review on a product that I just got that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I'm showing Jack here because he was my guinea pig <laughs> for the product. Um, I'm really excited. It's not very often that uh, something new comes along for dolls that I'm always like jumping to try. Usually I wait and I wait to hear what other people think of it, but I figured I would give this a shot. Um, and what it is, let me take it out of the little baggie. Sorry, I guess I should have done this before I started the video. Um, silicone finishing powder. This is by Wee Babies Nursery, which is um, you can order paints. I think it's mainly for like silicone supplies for dolls. And I saw this ad for this particular finishing powder pop up on Facebook the other day. And I thought it looked really interesting because in the little ad, it's by Jenny Lee, I believe is the artist. It's her website. Um, she makes silicone babies. So that's, I think that's why she supplies some of the supplies. The supplies. <laughs> she makes available the supplies um, for making silicone babies. And the ad was stating that this is made of some sort of blend using um, materials that are in silicone, I'm guessing. I'm trying to think of the wording. But um, what's interesting about this is even though it's a white powder, it is a translucent, transparent powder, which means when you put it on the dowel, you don't see the remnants of like putting powder, like baby powder on a doll, like when in between their creases, um, like you can look at his, his little chubby rolls, his little fat rolls do not have a bunch of white in there in the cracks and crevices. And I powdered him quite well with this. A little goes a long way. I did his, like I did his whole body. Then I changed him into this outfit so I could see it, how well it stays on the silicone because that's one of the things I don't like about baby powder or cornstarch is that the minute you put it on, more so with baby powder than cornstarch, um, cornstarch stays on a little bit better. Um, when you put baby clothes on the doll right after you powder them, most of the powder comes off on the clothing, which is pointless when you're trying to keep the doll powdered and not shiny and smooth and soft. It's kind of the whole idea. So I powdered this little guy and by far, this is the nicest, smoothest, silkiest that his silicone has ever felt. Like, just touching his silicone, it feels amazing, you guys. I can't explain it. I generally don't get too wowed about things. Um, I'm usually a little skeptical, but this is amazing stuff. I cannot say enough about it. I highly recommend it. It just feels much nicer than the paid the baby powder alternative and the cornstarch because I've been kind of doing the cornstarch instead of baby powder because it's a finer powder finer granule that tends to stick to most of the silicones a little bit better than the actual baby powder even though baby powder is made with cornstarch there's other ingredients in it and there's been controversy about what's best for our dolls and depending on who the artist is what the silicone is, you're going to get a different answer. So I'm always looking for the best ways to care for my silicone dolls to keep them in the best shape, to keep them protected. And one of those ways is finding a good powder or cornstarch to protect them from the elements. So I think that's generally my goal is one, I want them to look nice. I want them to not be shiny, which I don't generally have that issue with any of my dolls. But I think it's also the fact that they can get a little tacky, especially certain silicones. Now he has a beautiful silicone, but it does feel more tacky than like compared to say Claire Taylor's silicone. Her silicone tends to be very, very smooth to the touch. It's the type of matting agent I think that she uses to finish the doll versus he has something, a different matting agent, I believe, and it just doesn't feel the same. Even though his his silicone is high quality, it's just each artist is different how they finish their dolls. So with this powder that I've used, his his silicone feels like the nicest I've ever felt on any doll. 
So I'm, I'm really, really a huge fan now. And um, this is the smallest size. This is the trial size. It is 20 grams. And it comes in two other larger sizes. So I wanted to, of course, try this. And a little goes a long way. So this, this would actually last me for quite a while because I don't really powder my dolls a whole lot. But um, it came, it was $18 for this one. And I know that that's expensive, guys, but I look at it as an investment. Um, it came with the instructions, and I'm going to show you. It's used for just powdering, for upkeep, and also as a matting agent, a matting powder. And this is the website, We Babies Nursery. I highly recommend checking it out if it's something that, you know, I think we're all, all us silicone mommies out there are always seeking like the most silky smooth way to powder our dolls and I think this is it. Now the two other sizes are of course more expensive but I you know like I said I wanted to try this first but I will get a larger size just to have on hand but I, I really am thrilled. I love how he turned out. Like he doesn't look white powdery to me and I you know I was pretty generous with it because I wanted to see how it worked, how it went on, you know, if you get excess on there, how easy it is to kind of dab it off. And it was very easy, but it stays on him. Like he just, oh, he feels so silky. And I probably will be powdering Miss Marley. <laughs> now that I feel how nice and soft this is, I'm going to try it on her and see what I think of it on her because she doesn't even really need it, but I'm just curious to see what it will feel like and if it'll make her even smoother than she already is. It's just a very silky feeling. It's it's very lovely. So that's that's it, guys. That's my review. I wanted to share that with you so that, you know, many of you out there might have already discovered this. So if you have, kudos to you because I'm, I might be a little late to the game. But for those that haven't stumbled across this, I wanted to be able to share it with everyone else out there. And, um, yeah, look them up. See what you think. It's a nice investment if you you know, have a good amount of money like I do invested in these dolls. I just want to find the best ways to keep them perfect. <laughs> so I hope everybody's had a really great Monday. And that's about it for us here. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.